Show me what a bike with square tires, if you were, were to ride an imaginary one, what would it look like? <laughs> it is home show time. Most of that stuff's wrapped up. Most of that Pontus waterfall is wrapped up. So we're just about to fire this thing up. Great by a front door entrance. A great little feature. Everybody's favorite, the spitting toucan. My favorite too, actually. Reminds me of a couple nights I had in college. That being said, wow. This light's really good. I can't tell if I just look pale like a vampire or if I look beautiful. Every winter we have all kinds of stuff going on. Today especially, actually this week is a little crazy. We've got Academy going on. Hands-on Academy is uh, more of an in-depth look of your business. So we have classes from business to HR, how to, building in sandboxes, letting people build stuff, tear it back down. I'm teaching classes on sales, design, and estimating. We also have a home show going on. Luckily it's just down the street, less than two miles from here. So we've got to set that up while all this is going on. Let me introduce you to the Academy people. People. Hey guys, say hi really quick. Hi really quick. Hey. Hi really quick. Hi really quick. Hello. Jeff, put your happy face on. All right, there you go. So this is the academy. We've got everybody in one room now. Pretty soon we'll all split up. Chris is in the sandbox. I'll let Chris introduce his group. Uh, Nick is setting up our uh, home show display. We're gonna kind of bounce back and forth. Send it over to Nick. He'll show you what's going on with the home show display. Chris will kind of walk you through what he's doing over there in the sandbox. Oh! Hey, thanks Brian, uh, Chris and Heather from Team Aquascape here inside the sandbox. We are teaching this incredible group of people behind me how to install fountainscapes. Tomorrow is when we're gonna kick off the waterfall. Come along for the journey, it's gonna be incredible. Yes, 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 yes! just turned the spillway bowls on and they look incredible. These guys all did a fantastic job. How do we do? Excellent. You guys did a fantastic job. We just fired this thing up. Let's do this, the urn. We'll get that thing done. There's one, there's two, and there is three. It has been an incredible 24 hours. Not even, it's been an incredible 12 hours incredible group of people as well. I'm just gonna keep saying incredible, incredible, incredible. We had probably 25 to 30 newbies to the water feature world. They absolutely crushed it with their three features that they created. I couldn't be more proud of them. They did a fantastic job. They were a great group. Super, super, super willing and eager to learn, which made me feel really good. I love to teach. I love to bring the water feature lifestyle and the knowledge about it into their lives and I couldn't be more blessed. So thank you very much. We're gonna send it back over to Nick and find out what's going on at the home show. What's going on guys? Good morning, it's Nick here from Team Aquascapes and it is February, which means it is home show time. A great way for us to drum up business in the spring is by doing these home shows locally. We are getting prepped for the old house, new house home show and that's gonna be in St. Charles, which is right up the road from where we are located. It's gonna be a nice, easy commute jot over there. The interesting thing about this show actually is this is one of the few shows home shows that we've done that is actually a paid show. People have to actually buy a ticket to get in. That basically puts us to a different demographic of customers that are actually already willing to pay to get into this home show, which maybe, maybe means they're a little bit more likely to make a purchase on a water feature. We have preparation work to the nines to get everything ready because we start tomorrow building this home show. Let's go check out what the guys are doing right now. This stuff is looking awesome, dude. Rock it, baby, we rock it. These guys have been working all morning getting all these boards stained and it looks killer. Brand new paint. Juan, you've been painting these? Okay, good. <laughs> Brand new fresh paint on this. It's gonna make this booth pop. So we are almost done with all these. We got all of our rock here for our Poundless Waterfall, our Stack Slate wall, our Stack Slate urn in here, all of our fittings, plumbing, everything that we're gonna need for the show. Next, what we gotta grab is two more bins of this. It's gonna be full of sand, and then we need about 12 empty pallets, and we are gonna show you why we use those for the home shows later. So let's go ahead and shut this thing up. We'll park it inside for tonight. Get ready for tomorrow morning so that way we can take off right when we get in. Good 
morning guys it is show day i should say setup for show day we are out of the shop already We're hoping to be the first ones there that gets us unloaded first and if we can get unloaded first then we will have much more time to get this thing set up here we are at the convention center we have our space right here it's gonna go from basically the end of that rail there over to here and then we're gonna follow this right where this forklift is parked we're gonna come to this corner here basically that's what we're looking at here to here back to that wall we're gonna fill this space as best as possible probably have a pilot's back in that corner there and we're gonna come over probably in this corner or this corner with the basalt columns and then our big kind of stack slate feature right here this is going to be totally transforming the next couple hours as for right now we got to get the trucks unloaded because we are the first ones here we don't even have a forklift driver yet so we're going to get this process rolling and start getting these trucks unloaded by hand then we are going to start getting this thing built Alright guys, so you've seen the same design about a hundred times I'm sure already. That's going to be our layout for our booth this year. We have that far corner one right there. That's where the pondless is going to be here. Micho and Matt are setting up this front corner which is going to be our basalt columns right there. And then right here is going to be our stack slate feature. That's going to have our stack slate wall, stack slate sphere, stack slate urn. All that's coming together. We would have to lay down visqueen. It's just going to make for easier cleanup and we're not going to damage these floors at all. We already have this back one set up for the pondless so we're going to go ahead and get our fence up here. We're getting unloaded on the outside with the forklifts and we are rocking and rolling. Juan and Micho are already getting these booths screwed together. Now you can kind of see the layout of the booth starting a little bit better. This will be our stack slate area. That's going to be our basalt columns and back there is going to be our pondless waterfall. Everything's coming together pretty quickly so far and to me that's why i love putting up these shows because you get a little bit of a nervous energy a little buzz so we're gonna keep rolling and we'll catch you up when we make some more progress basins are in boom boom so we're gonna spring in a bunch of pallets. Those pallets are gonna basically sit back here to fill in all that void space so we don't have to fill everything up with sand, which would suck to clean up. Pallets back there will build up our height a little bit and then we can bring sand back there. This is all gonna be sand in here, so that's not a big deal. And then sand as well over there. So you see we're just using all of our extra aqua blocks right here any garbage that we have those pallets we snuck in right back there just to give us some height without having to fill all this with sand now that that's done we're going to cover all this stuff with fabric backfill with sand so that we're not losing all that sand basically we got our urn sphere wall that's all set up so these guys are just starting plumbing over here we are getting our pump figured out for the basalt columns which are right there those are going to sit dead center here this thing is coming together i mean we're everybody's working as a team and we are killing it These guys have been crushing it over here on the stack slate. You can see the walls already in, the urns in, and the sphere is in. Now they're starting to place rocks. Juan and Micho have been crushing it this morning. Then we got these guys over here. The salt columns are almost in. We're just finishing up some final plumbing there. And that's going to be basically ready to put water in it. Then we have the start of a waterfall over here. Pondless system. Frame rock, frame rock. Little fall there. And then we're probably going to have a bowl up in that area there. Spilling. One fall, two falls. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge. It's going to be beautiful. We got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to put this thing down and we're going to get back to work. the hose we finally got water going in here it's so important to get this water in as early as possible because usually we're waiting on the water there's hundreds of other people here and everybody seems to need it at the same exact time the second that we are able to get water in there we roll the hose out and we get that stuff going it's gonna take a while anyways we know that the sooner we get it done the sooner we can get out of here with that being said back to the water pile. As you can see behind me, most of that stuff's wrapped up. Most of that pondless waterfall is wrapped up. We're about to fire that thing up. Doesn't that just look awesome? These guys are just finishing up stack slate feature. Our pondless is close. We're just about to fire this thing up. We are pushing. We're going to make it, but it's going to be a little bit later. So with that being said, we got to get back to work. Just wrapped up. It's like four o'clock, I think, right now. Pretty much right on schedule. It looks super, super awesome. It's the last 10% that takes that extra, extra long time. 
I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough and kind of explain you why we went with certain things, why we chose different features. As you can see here, basalt columns, just an awesome little feature to put really anywhere in the yard. Great by a front door entrance, little nooks and crannies. That'll also fit on an aqua basin. Super, super versatile and it just looks awesome. It actually looks like just silver's kind of coming off the top of that thing. Very, very cool effect. Then we have our kind of stack slate area right here. We have our stack slate sphere. That's a small, our stack slate wall curved with the front spill top. And then we have our stack slate urn that's also a small these are just awesome features as standalone features so you can the sphere standalone by itself you can put the urn standalone by itself you can also put that wall standalone by itself all these are great on their own they also kind of look cool together love how the wall and the sphere kind of mirror each other these are all entry level features it's going to be great for just getting into the hobby It'll be great for little nooks and crannies that you're not going to be able to fit a full pondless waterfall even though we can make them nice and small which leads me to a pondless waterfall this is perfect little representation of what we can pull off in such a small space. I mean, look at this space. This is only about a 10 by 10 area at the most. This thing fits right in here with plants. I mean, we have beautiful big plants in here and this thing absolutely just fills the space. Looks amazing. Just an entry level kind of pondless waterfall here. Two drops, you can see that one up there just kind of kicks, falls down over this thing and then just that little fall right there. Sounds great. Nice little kicker there. A little bit of pooling water here, great for birds, great for little wildlife. Again, just a great little feature. And then everybody's favorite, always is, the spitting toucan. My favorite too, actually. Reminds me of a couple nights I had in college. Anyways, guys, that is it for this home show setup. You saw what this space looked like this morning. It was completely bare bones empty. Everyone worked as a team. We set all this up in one day, less than a day, probably eight hours. This is what you can do when you have a great team behind you. I need to get some sleep. Show starts tomorrow. I'm really expecting a great turnout here. Guys, I am out of here. I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. See you. Yeah.